How's it going everyone, this is Trickster Meta Smash, and in this video we're going to be talking about Pyra and Mithra, air dodge reads, and frame traps. But before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to a small YouTube channel called Avalon. This channel does the highest level editing for montages I've ever seen in my entire life, and it is honestly a crime that more people do not know about them. So please do me a huge favor and check out their channel and leave a comment on their video saying hello from Meta of Smash. And now let's continue on with the guide. Mithra's combo game is fairly straightforward and typically consists of 2-3 to three hit combos. And since her aerials and tilts are not only disjointed but have incredible frame data, opponents typically try to either mash air dodge or jump out of most situations. But Mithra has the ability to take advantage of a lot of these situations provided that you know where the holes are in your own setups. It's very important to add combo delays in between strings, especially after combo finishers, to allow your opponent to press a button, make a mistake, and put themselves into end lag. If you can catch your opponent panicking, trying to air dodge, tech in place, or roll away from you, this can end up leading into even more devastating strings or potentially even stealing stocks. One of the main reasons why this concept is incredibly viable for Mithra players to understand is because Mithra's combo game is so basic. But with that being said, if you do try to overextend and press buttons when you don't actually have frame advantage, you can easily get reversed. Also by adding air dodge reads and frame traps, this is one of the best ways to integrate Mithra's kill moves into her combos. Taking advantage of your opponent's habits will allow you to get more F smashes, up smashes, down smashes, and lightning busters into the mix. This following edge guard setup is something that I use all the time to catch players that like to use neutral air dodge or even air dodge in to try and cross me up. The fact that Mythra's lightning buster not only has a long lasting hitbox but also a hitbox behind it allows me to cover multiple options pretty safely. Not to mention that whether or not you connect this lightning buster in this situation or not, you will still be able to make it back to the stage safely. Just before we continue on with the guide, I wanted to mention that if you're interested in checking out my music, everything is on SoundCloud for free. There'll be a link in the description below. And if you're interested in supporting future projects as well as the channel, a link to my Patreon will also be in the description. And now let's carry on with part 2 of the guide, air dodge reads using both Pyra and Mithra. In my opinion, this is where Pirate and Mithra will absolutely shine as a dominant top tier character. Making incredibly hard reads that are being set up with Mithra and then switching into Pyra for devastating finishers, substantially more damage and potentially even very early kills. Being able to easily set up advantage state with Mithra and then quickly switch to Pyra to push that advantage state even more will absolutely be meta, especially offline. One of the hardest things about playing this character is knowing when to switch and not getting caught playing as the wrong character at the wrong time. So being able to switch between characters fluidly can intimidate your opponent and constantly keep them in a state of fear as they don't know what is coming at them next, where they should be DIing, or if they might even lose their stock in the blink of an eye. In many instances at high level play, players may have a very strong read on their opponent, but may not have the awareness to switch between characters, which may ultimately leave the punish game much weaker than it should be. For example, a read like this could have been made by Solo Mithra, but of course Dark Pit would not have died. The same thing goes for not switching when you put your opponent onto a platform. In this situation, a Mithra up tilt or up smash would have worked just fine, however, a Pyra up smash will always be much more devastating and much more terrifying for your opponent. This will also save you time and get you into position faster when setting up for juggle situations. And with that, that's going to be it for the video. Once again, this is Tricks from Meta Smash saying thanks for watching the video, and please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Tell me, tell me.